the extended world of Mario characters, you get so many classics. You get Mario, you get Luigi, you get Donkey Kong, you get Bowser. You get characters that you've known for decades. However, today's episode is not about those characters. It's not about the fun. It's not about the happiness. It's not about the success. It's about the failures. <laughs> Welcome to Bracket Up. I am Handy Dandy Andy Jerk. Today we are looking at the worst, absolute worst, Super Mario and their spinoffs, character that you could think of. I'm joined, as always, by the Giggle King, first off, Mr. Julian Griffin. How are you today? I'm good. You better preach. Coming in with a word about Mario. (laughs) (laughs) Preach to the choir here. And also joined by the man with the best name in the whole wide world, Mr. Basketball, Andy Mysack. How are you? That's me, Mr. Basketball. Mr. Basketball. Oh, you are Mr. Basketball now. I am. I... (laughs) I, I picked them Sacramento Kings and they won that night and I'm gonna hang my hat on that. Good for you, my dude. So we've got uh, 29 here of the worst Mario characters and spin-off characters you ever could have imagined. Just these disgusting little sprites that came out of somebody's imagination, awful stuff. So we've got a bunch of playing rounds because we took a really stupid number like we love to do. So first off, Baby Wario against Goombario. <laughs> what is this shit? You guys are the Mario experts. I'm not. This is this just sounds dumb. Um, so baby Wario is exactly what you think. He is a, a Mar- he is the baby version of Wario, like they make baby versions of all their characters. Yeah. Uh he's in Yoshi's New Island as one of the babies other than baby Mario. And his ability is to steal money from people. Oh, he's also a doctor. This is Dr. Baby Wario. Also, he's the ugliest child I've ever seen in my life. Good Lord, look at this. (laughs) This is Baby Wario. So is this a uh, like perception issue or is he taller than these buildings? Uh, Perception. I think it's a pan. I was hoping he'd also be a giant baby. Also, look at this disgusting 3D render of him moving. What is that? Just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. So I just imagine him breastfeeding. <laughs> He's like bites down, like stop, or yeah. I took the chest off. But uh, yeah, he steals money. That's his special ability. He's a fucking thief of a child. Steals money. Sounds like a doctor. I mean, <laughs> easy, mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before. All right, and then this is Goombario, vastly less ugly. Uh, but he's in the Paper Mario series, uh, and he sucks as a part. He's the first partner you get, so I guess he's supposed to suck. But like. His special ability is called Tattle, and he just tells you how much HP your opponent has. His Which is pretty dope. It comes in handy at times. No, it never comes in handy because when you it get It came Goombar- in handy with me. And plus, like, Goombario was cool to you the first time. Like, the rest of Goombas always want to fuck you up. But this one and his family are like, nah, we love you, Mario. Which is dope. Goombario's a real one. No, he's, see, he, you can't hate him. He's such a nice. He's a nice kid. He's first really off, nice. I want to know the context and how you use Tattle when you get Goombario because you get him at the start of the game, and I don't need to know the HP of anything at the start of the game because I just beat it. And by the time, yeah. by the time Later that might be useful, I have vastly better partners to work with. Later on, I used him. Like when I had harder opponents, I would use them just to be like, yo, how much do I gotta fight this mug? So that's just me. That's just me. Play the game weird. And he does attack people too. So it's like, yeah, it's okay. with head bonk not- and multi head bonk and charging bonk. No, he sucks. <laughs> would you rather have like a demon like child with huge ass dentures in his mouth? Or would you have somebody tell you, like, this is what you gotta do to fuck this guy up? See, Which first off, he, like he's better. he's better than Baby Wario. I'm sure we all agree. 
but yes. he doesn't tell you this is what you got to do he's like he's always like this opponent's scary it has this much hp i'm like thanks you loser he's trying to stop. still cool though it's like it's better than somebody being like hey i'm stealing your money well look baby wario sucks <laughs> All right, let's get him the I'm hell voting out We're doing a out. we uh, clean sweep in here on Baby Wario. Yeah. Poor it's... Goombario. I noticed with Goombario, the only straight lines were the tops of his teeth. The rest of his body is just curves. Yeah. Yep. Looking real good. Looking real good. Looking curvy. All right, next matchup. Is that Starlo? Starlo. Starlo. Yeah. Starlo versus Toadsworth. Who what's is the Starlo? monster that put Toadsworth on here? Hi, but... hello, it's me, your monster. So this is Starlo. If you hate Navi, you'll hate Starlo. Don't know what that is either. Uh, Legend Navi of Zelda. Navi off a of Legend of Zelda and it's basically like almost every 3D Legend of Zelda where you have a small fairy yell at you for the entire game. Okay. <laughs> So basically, that Starlo will pop up because it's from the Mario and Luigi series, so it's an RPG, but it's like baby's first RPG. So every three steps, it pops up like, "Hey, did I forget to tell you this?" It's like, no, don't tell me. Go away. <laughs> and it basically is like the first, like first hour at least of the game is just having this thing talk at you and then as the game goes on it randomly pops up to remind you of things it's already told you it's or you've already idea. figured out all right that sounds so pretty annoying create characters as lazy as hell look at the lazy ass artwork yeah that's what the character looks like in the game too the only character that it has is that single ass eyelash out of those two black holes that it <laughs> Those soulless eyes of Starlo. Also, I hate how close it is to Star Lord. <laughs> For the name. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, just come blow the fuck out of here because Toadsworth is actually cool. cool. He's the yeah. coolest among the Toads. See, look how cool. Look at his bow tie and a cane and a mustache. He distinguished. All the it other Toads suck except for him. And this motherfucker, uh, also, if you make contact in Mario Baseball with that, that mushroom on a scepter, that thing's going. The thing's going deep. That's fine, but Toadsworth is wearing dinner rolls of shoes, and I can't forgive that. <laughs> all, toads, all Toads have dinner rolls for feet. Also, look at this sophisticated ass bastard riding a robotic snail. <laughs> I have no idea what this is from, by the way. <laughs> I would like to see Starlo rock a cane and a mustache. It can. It's not its fault it doesn't have hands. <laughs> Thumbs. So therefore it is useless except for just, this is a worse version of Goombario. <laughs> look, at, look at this fucking beautiful ass man. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was a thing. If somebody made this me fighter and I appreciate every second of it. <laughs> yep, Toadsworth will fuck you up. See, if Toadsworth looked like that, I wouldn't have put him on the list, but I don't <laughs> think he's going to get past Starlo today. No, I'm voting Starlo. Heck. Yeah, hell, Starlo. I'll vote Starlo. I hate tutorial characters. Um,. All right, next up, we've got someone who's awful close to infringing on my name, Bandy Andy. Oh. Uh, against mm. Klepto. Hmm. Julian, you, you put both these on. I remember who Bandy Andy is now, but you could talk through that. Okay, Bandy Andy is basically like, you've seen Shy Guys before, right? Yeah. <laughs> the only difference is this Shy Guy likes to come up to you and mug you. In the middle of a fucking desert, which is shit. He's just waiting behind a rock, like, oh man, get this motherfucker. He'll run up to you, hit you, and then steal. And the thing is, he won't even fight you till the finish. He'll just fight you until like he gets enough money from you and then runs off. Yeah. Is that mask like strapped around the back of his head? Yeah. Or like it looks like it's just a mask, not his actual face. I, I couldn't tell you. I thought it was a mask too, but it, it, it emotes, obviously. Right. Okay. He's not very shy at all. He's, in fact, very forward and mean. Yeah. 
He's a yeah. He's a forward guy. What a fuck. Yeah, I don't know. No one knows what real shy guys look like or anything. Maybe they all look like this. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Maybe like behind the mask that everybody looks like Ted Cruz. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ted Cruz. Good to hear that we found the Zodiac Killer, by the way. Finally yeah. admitted himself a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, then next we got Klepto. I'll give it I'll give it to you again, Julian. <laughs> all right. Oh, God. I don't know how klepto manages to do that is another dude that just steals from you only this time it's worse because like it's some giant big head ass bird that just attacks you and then like grabs shit from you but the thing is like you see where it goes and it just stands there doing nothing it doesn't even fight back so can you get stuff back at all no yeah you can get stuff back you just have to kill it Oh, I thought you meant fight it. I'm like, I don't think you could fight him. No, it doesn't fight back. You just kill him. He steals your stuff to die. <laughs> he also, he. I remember in uh, the desert level, it had one of the stars and it's flying around. You got to get the star from its talons. Hey, Mario 64, right? right? Sorry, I yawned. Yeah, the version of it of killing it is just touching him. And he just says, oh, fuck it. I, he just lets it go. I don't know which is worse. I don't know what dudes, I don't know what Bandy Andy does with any of the money. All I know is that it's stupid to steal from somebody and then go to a place where you can easily get to them and then fuck them up to get your stuff back. At oh, least Klepto or Bandy Andy puts up a fight, but Klepto, no. Yeah, see though, Klepto, like whatever, you know, he takes my hat. That that that's upsetting. Bandy Andy takes my fucking money. That asshole. And they tries to fight me to keep my money. That's also, that makes sense, doesn't it? It makes it worse. See, I don't think that makes so. sense though. It's just like if I'm gonna steal from this, you, at least this like motherfucker fight. steals my money and then he fights me just to steal more money and then he runs away. Well then you're my just stupid. money. If you got your ass whooped and stuff stolen, you're stupid for trying to go back and fight again just to have your stuff stolen again. I'm sorry, that's your fault. Excuse me. But no. <laughs> I whooped his ass and he ran away, stealing more. No, Bandy Andy. Also, an insult to the name Andy. Okay, well, for you, that's biased, but I'm going to go have to go with Klepto because Klepto's stupid. He just takes stuff from you for the sake of taking stuff. That's all good. I'm going with Klepto also because Klepto mm-hmm. seems to know what it's doing is wrong and is very sad about it, but just lets you take it back. Dumb, dumb creature. Yeah. All right, moving on. P- Pips, Pipsy? Pipsy. Pipsy against uh, Baby Rosalina. Now, is Baby Rosalina as ugly as Baby Wario? No, but uh, we'll start with Pipsy. Yeah. I don't have much to say. She's a, a racer in Diddy Kong Racing. But also, like, fuck Pipsy. She's always kind of an ass hat. I don't know who this is. It's terrifying, but I don't know. It's the you. It's the mouse from Diddy Kong Racing. It's like one of those monsters from Five Nights at Freddy's gave birth. Pipsy. That's Pipsy. I don't and know. I like Diddy Kong Racing. I think they were just filling out a quota because they needed a girl in there for the sake of diversity. I mean, yeah, she's the only girl. I probably should have put Timber on this list because I also just hate Timber. But I put Pipsy on the list because I just remember Pipsy usually being in first place if you chose so, Diddy. So Pipsy's only in Diddy Kong Racing. Doesn't yeah. come from any other Donkey Kong game? <laughs> nope. No. Also, I find that weird. Like, it's one of like the four characters five I'm characters more... that don't have like they're just in diddy kong racing and nothing else okay it i mean the only other know. character what, what's the other couple characters banjo's in this game isn't he banjo conquer and diddy are in this game and then there's timber oh i guess critter you could just say is one of the king k rules crocodiles so then there's like the weird rooster in overalls there's pipsy there's timber there's the badger and the, the the slow ass turtle. I used that turtle. I won with that turtle, by the way. The turtle was cool. Fuck the turtle, but it ain't Pipsy bad. 
I think any of them would be pretty shitty on this list. So Pipsy's not off to a good start in my book. How a baby Rosalina is, if I remember correctly, just her mere existence sort of like retcons Mario Galaxy. <laughs> like it just retcons the entire story. That would be awful, actually. That's baby Rosalina. You said she wasn't as ugly as baby Wario. Yeah. Uh, also, also a doctor. <laughs> what is with these creatures stealing your money? <laughs> well, she—I don't think she steals money. Look, she looks like she's born, born from a silver spoon. She looks like she got money. What baby do you know has a wand in it? Crown. Uh, one Crown that's is. one that's a god. <laughs> Pretty Crown much what like Rosalina yeah. is. That crown looks like it was forged in flames and iron and steel. Like it looks like she was, it was formed with uh, Saruman, who has formed the fighting Urukai yeah. in all the rings. <laughs> I wish I knew more about the like Mario Galaxy lore. Um, I just completely forgot. I just know a lot of people hate Baby Rosalina because it, it just retcons the whole game. The only Mario game with an actual story mode, like actual story. Just retcons it. Like, here's the baby version now so we can sell plushes and fill out the Mario Kart roster. I mean, that's cool. I mean, would you rather have Pipsy? Pipsy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> No, Pipsy seems absolutely useless. I'm voting for Pipsy as the worst. <laughs> I'm voting for Pipsy as well. I mean, I'm gonna vote for Baby Rosalina. Oh well, Pipsy moving on. Uh, next up, rabid, the rabid versions of all the various characters against the big top hat Mario Party host. Uh, first off, fuck anything rabbits. I, yeah, I mean... And not to offend anybody, but the rabbits look syndromic. I'm... <laughs> they... Also, all their fucking names are just, instead of Mario, it's B Mario. I'm pretty it's sure that's how they do it. Wasn't yeah. the rabbits like originally a Rayman thing? Yeah, but they had the crossover with Mario, Mario and rabbits, and like Peach, Rabbit Peach is obsessed with her cell phone. Rabbit Luigi's just a big fucking dumbass. Yeah, it looks like the Mario team is literally just doing like a fundraiser for a special kids group. <laughs> <laughs> like they had, they feel like they have to do this for like charity so they get a tax write off or Nintendo get a tax write off or something. I just like Jarek's face looking at these abominations. Mario's mustache reaches outside of his eyes. <laughs> that's nasty oh that okay i'm sorry i don't think the top like that really happened. nose hair it wasn't really like a mustache it was just like long ass nose hairs like look at this determined face on mario and fucking dumbass rabid luigi <laughs> <laughs> that that there's a fucking in a nutshell what you're getting with this fucking game so bad. I'm pretty sure there's a rabid Cranky Kong too, which I've never seen, but I'm pretty sure it's a thing. Oh Christ in heaven, what the fuck is that? Hold on. Here you go, here's rabid Cranky Kong. <laughs> That's the best yeah. one so far. Is it? Look at this thing. That is the best one so far, but... Doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> none of them are the best things so far. All of them are the worst. But it's got some stiff, t stiff competition. I don't even know. Mario Party... Top Hat. I don't even know what the fuck to call this guy. He's from Mario Party 8. Oh, his name's Big Top. God, one game, Mario Party 8. It should never have existed. His name is what? Big Top. That sounds wrong on so many levels. Look at this fucker. <laughs> I hate him. There's just too many fucking colors. 
and they're all obnoxious. So, okay, are those yellow things his eyes or is his top hat his eyes? Isn't that just a million dollar fucking question? I'm pretty sure those are his eyes and this is like a separate entity. Does the top hat talk? Look, I haven't played Mario Party 8 in a long ass time. I don't know. It's all the mouth. I figured it probably does. It, I'm going to assume it does. Yes. I just, think just an eyesore of existence. <laughs> If he wasn't up against the rabbits, he'd go far. <laughs> he would go so fucking far. Go very far. One of the few times where a bow tie doesn't help him out. Uh, I'm going to vote for the rabbits as much as I hate that host, because fuck anything rabbits. Yeah, same. I'm going to go ahead and vote for Big Top. I know blackface coning when I see it, so fuck that. <laughs> Uh, all right, Big Top sadly does not make it to the finale. Um, next up, Candy Kong against Boshi. First off. <laughs> Sorry, Boshi. You ever, uh, don't insult Boshi. You ever wanted to sexualize a monkey? Oh, Big God. Boobs. Big boobs. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country 1 through 3. You act like you've never seen Instagram models before. Chill out. <laughs> nice. Silicon yeah. Valley looking ass. No, seriously. Like all these silicon heavy Instagram models look just like this. Yeah, but but this one's a a monkey. <laughs> like legitimately, and, it's an animal. And that's fucking weird. You've never heard of like what is it called the what the yaoi or some shit like that? Is it yeah? Or what is yaoi? Yaoi is the the furry porn. No. Yeah, that's what that's called. No, I don't think so. No, it's not. That's not it. Or no. Yuri, yeah, Yuri or no, something. No, no, I think that's something different. She has a yeah. name across her chest, right? I think yeah. it's come out. Candy. When did this come out though? The Candy Kong. Yeah. It's the first Donkey Kong Country. The first, it was in like, what, 1994. 1994, of course this would happen. Come on, man, this is 1994. They didn't give a fuck. Like, what was Crash Bandicoot's lover's name? That one girl on Crash Bandicoot's Oh, yeah, name. yeah. Also, also, she was in the short-lived Donkey Kong Country cartoon. And, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Just Whoa. Your Oh. oh, wow. Okay. Planet of the Apes. Yeah. it's. I find it very strange sexualization of a character. This was 1994. They sexualized the hell out of everything. Meanwhile, Jarek over here fucking hating on Boshi. Where's from Boshi? the Super Mario RPG series. I, I honestly don't remember the characterization of them. But look, at, it's just fucking... Dope ass Yoshi with sunglasses. Dope. You would describe that as dope. Yeah, that's dope ass Yoshi. I would describe that as dopey. <laughs> I would describe that as Yoshi on the Bad Tour in 1987. Man, he belongs on my stage with Michael Jackson. <laughs> I, I believe that's a good thing. <laughs> Could you imagine this like Boshi on like the Dirty Dome playing Dirty Diana and shit like that? <laughs> Hey man, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Boshi. Any Yoshi with sunglasses is a winner to me. That's a dog collar. He's got a spiky dog collar. Yeah, that's just and a style. Hat. It's a phase. And those cut out, those cut out gloves on his feet. You're telling me you guys never shopped at Hot Topic? I got graphic tees. I didn't get those dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a floppy pizza on his back. Like People love Boshi so much that somebody made a custom Boshi Amiibo. How dare you insult? I'm not going to lie. A, I, e for effort, but that does not look right. <laughs> Something about that just looks wrong. You can give him an F for effort, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You double F. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get. Oh, I forgot to put... 
Is Boshi Chonky Yoshi? No, I think there's a different Chonky Yoshi. Either way, Boshi, Boshi cool. You do uh, other than this, this. I'm voting for Candy. That's fine by me. I'm, I'm voting for Boshi. Out of here. Play Mario RPG, you fool. I'm even voting for Candy Kong. That scarred me a little bit. <laughs> How? Like y'all act like you've never seen Instagram uh, Instagram models before. I know. Tell me one Instagram model that's an animal. Exactly. I can show you. Some, I will show you some. I will show you after this. After we're done recording. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're looking at. I want to see it. So let's move on. Goomba <laughs> Nabbit. Goomba is Goomba. Everyone knows Goomba. Fuck yeah. Goomba. I like Goomba. There's nothing wrong with Goomba. How'd this motherfucker play baseball? <clears throat> he was in the with baseball eyes, games. Or his eyebrows. I don't know. Yeah, he was. He played baseball. He was in Mario Baseball. He could hold a bat. He could hold it with his bat. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Goomba sucks. He can hold it with his brow fold. Look how aggressive that brow fold is. Well, see, you have all these answers. But this was Nintendo's answer. <laughs> Fine. They've done much worse. <laughs> it's True. So, it's so stupid. <laughs> but then there's Nabbit. Nabbit just steals from you. Another thief. And then you have to chase him to get your stuff back. He doesn't fight, he runs. Yeah, but he's kind of cool looking. You you sit here and insult Boshi, and you think this handkerchief wearing Bean is cool? I happen to like beans, and he's not a bean; he's a rabbit. Look at his, his bean-like ears. Tell me a rabbit that's shaped like a bean. Sure, he's got rabbit ears. He looks like a fucking bean. Nabbit. Yeah, fuck nabbit. He steals from you. Another motherfucking thief. He I shed our baby him. Wario and Dan. He doesn't fight you. He doesn't fight you and he disappears. He's got a good escape strategy. Was he's the, really good well, taking your stuff and then being like, all right, let me get to my place. Boom. And I'm gone. That's it. Motherfucker here is pulling the Andy it. strategy. Fucking backpedaling on his earlier argument where it's like, now, see, Bandy Andy, he's cool because he fights back. Now, not Neb, it's cool because he runs like a bitch. <laughs> that was my argument. No, first of all, my argument for him is he has an exit strategy. That's smart. <laughs> Fucking Klepto did not have an exit strategy. He would go sit somewhere where you could get to him. That's stupid. Exit strategy? He just runs in a straight line <laughs> and you chase him. Yes, and then he disappears if you don't catch him. My dumbass never caught him. Or my dumbass always caught him. Sorry. <laughs> Your dumbass never caught him. Or like, I'm guessing I'm getting two different things here, man. I, I meant always. You caught him or you didn't. I did. First off, fuck Nabbit. Fuck Nabbit. That, also, go. ugly <laughs> character <laughs> design. Stupid thief. St I'm. I'm gonna exit go ahead. strategy. Exit strategy. So you're you're like as long as a thief could escape, I think they're cool. <laughs> I mean, if, if that's his thing, his thing is like, I steal. I'll remember that. I'm going to make stealing my thing. I'm going to steal something from you. And I'm just going to get away. And you're going to be like, man, he's cool. He had an exit strategy. At least you got away with it. If I catch you, there's a different story. But if you get away with it, it's like, damn, mm, caught me slipping. Mm, my fault. Boy, you and I think of thievery in different ways. I think, what a cowardly ass bitch. I think. Also, stealing is steal. you're a piece of shit if you steal in general. Yeah, it's but matter you, if you that's get away from thing, though. That's Nabbit's <laughs> thing. He steals from you, and it's like if I get caught slipping, then I got caught slipping. Dang, nothing I could do. I got wow, that L. murder, Take that murder, chalk it up and killing, it. But he got me. Take the he L, chalk it up, and keep it pushing. That's what you do. But that you have boy, the ability. You and I live and a and different it's smart world. Where he's just like, let me get out of here so that I don't get messed up. I'm going to go ahead and vote for Goomba now, just to spite. <laughs> Julian over here like, you know what? I could justify thievery. 
that's okay. As long as you get away, you're you're cool with me. And what else are you gonna do? He got all your coins that you collected, that you jumped really, and then you climbed a whole bunch of stuff for. <clears throat> and then he got away with it. Boy, you must love I'm big business really. then. Boy, I worked so hard for my money and they took it from me. <laughs> They jumped got away with it. The ladders, had an exit jumped strategy. on all these Goombas, hit all these blocks on your <laughs> damn head. You didn't think that anybody was gonna come and steal your stuff. What kind of Mario player are you? This, this motherfucker must, oh, he loves big business. Jeff Bezos, thank God he doesn't have to pay taxes like I do. <laughs> he had an exit strategy. <laughs> yep, Jeff Bezos is the navit of him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'm voting for Nabbit also. Nabbit is disgusting and reminds me of Jared Leto in Suicide Squad. <laughs> it's stupid drawn on like bandana mask. Don't like it. I didn't uh, even hear that argument. If I'd have heard that argument, I would have voted the other way. Dang it. Uh, next up, we've got, Jesus, these fucking names. Charging Chuck against Tubba Bubba. <laughs> no, I picked Tubba Charging Bubba. Chuck. Tubba Bubba is a Paper Mario character, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Tubba Bubba. I guess it sort of annoys me that sports are real in the Mario cinematic universe. Football, <laughs> baseball, soccer, all that stuff. I don't like that he wears a football helmet and cleats. It's. Well, would you want this face staring at yes. you? Yes. Yes, it throws me off. It throws the immersion of me into the game off completely. I thought that you're supposed to wear cleats in football. Yeah, yeah but fine. the fact that football exists right. in the Mario world is the weird part. He doesn't need a football helmet and cleats to be charging Chuck. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> he can just use his out. What kind of animal is he? Like a turtle, like a Koopa type character? I don't know. I, I call it uh, a mistake from God. Looking mistake. at it. <laughs> All right, so we got this mistake here. If he had just his claws out, his paws, and then ran at you, I'd be fine with it. But I don't need to see uh, Brian Erlacher over here <laughs> taking a, a head hey. start and trying to take my head off. Don't need it. Well, maybe he's like in the Bowser family. Maybe he was born and Bowser was like, dang, you're not very bright, but you know what you can do? You can get in this football helmet and these cleats. You're gonna be a star one day. <laughs> Go get him. And he just him. never made it. <laughs> I. I don't like charging Chuck. I also don't like that there's alliteration there. You could have just called him Chuck. <laughs> charging Chuck. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Uh, Tubba Bubba. <clears throat> He's a boss in Paper Mario. And his shtick is he eats booze. That's what I remember. Yep. I don't know, Julian, if you've got more to add to it. Also, that's really all he is. He's just ass, his though, here. Here. He openly shows his weak spot as his heart. <laughs> And it's pretty fucking dumb. He just patched that up with like a piece of paper and was like, yep, no one's gonna guess. Isn't it how you beat him? You actually fight his heart as well. Well, I think you gotta like knock him over and then you'd like pound on his chest or something like that. You jump on his chest. A lot of characters, basically almost all the characters are the villains in Mario. Are, you just jump on them and they die. No. Jumping through their Achilles heel. <laughs> no, you fight his actual heart heart. Oh, I didn't know that you fight the actual. Yeah. Well, you jump on him, kill the heart. You jump on him. Yeah, but I think you have to be eaten by him to get inside him to fight his heart. I'm almost certain. No, his heart is out of his body. So yeah, you go find his heart. And the heart and comes him. out. And yeah. then, wait, no, you jump on him. And then the heart comes out. And then you jump on the heart. I forgot so like how you get to the heart. I don't think that's how you, I think it's two separate fights. I forgot how you get to the heart. You jump, what? How? No, the heart is out of, the heart is there? not in his body. That's why the patch is there. Okay. See, the anyway. heart, like, there's his heart just sitting on a log stump. I forgot the gist of it. I just know you fight his heart and he eats booze and his name is Tubba Bubba. I feel like we've talked about this before. I don't think I've ever spoken of Tubba Bubba to anyone ever. Oh, seriously, that boo looks like it's being violated. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Also, did I mention his name is fucking Tubba Bubba? 
He looks like a sex offender, registered. Registered in everything. We see him. We've caught him in the yeah. act. Like <laughs> right here. <clears throat> we know he is. Oh, well, Charging Chuck doesn't stand a chance against a sex offender. <laughs> Want to know what scares me? <laughs> Sexual assault. <laughs> That's how you really need to move. All right, I'm voting Tubba Bubba. Yeah, I think I have to. I'm gonna also go with Tubba Bubba. I just feel bad for charging Chuck. He wants to be great, he's just not. He doesn't know what he wants, he's too dumb. Someone has to tell him. All right, next up, our first venture into the Wario fr WarioWare franchise uh, with nine volt. And he'll be up against Pink Gold Peach, who we'll see in a minute. Uh, so, Jarek, you remember yeah. the, the game and you were That's, just dumbfounded by its stupidity? That is exactly why I put him on there. <laughs> and he's the worst character in that game because he moves constantly on a skateboard and can only attack upward right. with a yo-yo. He's yep. fucking terrible in that game. I haven't played enough WarioWare games to know anything else other than, like... Also, his whole family's named after fucking batteries. Or, like, voltages. 9 volt, 18 volt, 5, five volt. volt. I uh, am really wondering what's going on underneath that helmet because it's way, way, way too big. <laughs> Don't like it. Just weirdly disproportional body. His head yeah. has to be falling over like a little babies all the time. He just looks like a dumb kid. Just a dumb fucking he, kid. This looks like a caricature for the Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> it really does look like a caricature for Gen Z. Yeah, I don't I'm, know not gonna, I'm not gonna talk shit about a generation though, because us millennials get the most shit. So I ain't... We do, we get it from both sides too. We get it from them and we get it from uh, the generation before us. Yeah, everyone hates us. Yeah, everyone does hate us. Yeah, fuck them. That's why we're gonna be aggressive <laughs> and take it out on Gen Z. If, this, if there was a Z on his chest instead of a V, it'd be a perfect characterization. <laughs> Because Gen Z's always walk around advertising that they're Gen Z. Got to change his name to Nine Zolt. Nine Zolt. <laughs> nine Zolt. Oh, um, you know what's worse though than Nine Volt? Pink Old Peach. You, you know, you know Metal Mario, right? Yeah. You just randomly became a character. Well, Mario Kart Eight. They're like, you know what? We need to fill out our roster and make Pink Old Peach a thing. That's rose gold. No, it's it's called pink gold peach. In the game, it's called pink gold peach. Right. So iPhone, <laughs> iPhone four. <laughs> it's pink iPhone gold. four peach. Also, <laughs> I hate that her name is technically three different colors. I hate that so fucking much. <laughs> I already don't like peach, so. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is, is just a disaster color. for you then. This is just, I like the color though, which is the fucked up part. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Uh -huh. I agree. I like rose gold. <laughs> it's very right. nice. But do you hey. like an entire character that's just pink gold and peach? I mean, I just like the pink gold part. It's, yeah. If pink gold were a separate <laughs> character aside from just peach, I would like it. If you had pink gold PD Piranha. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I'm sitting here waiting for them to like, we're running out of characters to make babies. I know, baby pink gold peach. <laughs> That's when I just like vomit blood, call it a, a life. Uh, I'm still I, I know I'm not voting. Old. voting for pink gold peach. I just think it's the worst thing they ever created. I'm gonna go with nine zoomer. <laughs> nine zoomer. <laughs> nine zoomer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Zoomer zooms on to the Sweet 16. Next up, we've got the Koopa Kids against the Junior Troopas. More small babies for us to make fun of. Okay. The big, strong men that we are. I, I'm not, I'm gonna try not to confuse you guys because the Koopa Kids are not the Koopa Lings, which we'll talk about later. These are the Koopa Kids and they're in Mario Party like three, four, five, I don't know, one of those. And they're just Bowser minions, and I, right. I guess they're his kids. I have no idea. And then they just disappeared. Like they existed, and then they went away. So More much so of that Bowser usually, when you, 
Usually when you type in Koopa Kids, you get the Koopa Lings, but they're different. These are the Koopa Kids. I have a theory. I have a running theory. Yeah. So you know how Kamek does like spells and different colors and stuff like that? Yeah. One day, Bowser was lonely and him and Kamek, you know, started messing around. And therefore, it, those three are a love child. But Kamek was just too insecure to leave Bowser. And I guess they ended up in the foster care system. So no one knows where they are anymore in the Mario foster care system, along with many of the other illegitimate children that Bowser has because Bowser's a fuckboy like that. Yeah, because he's got the Koopalings, he's got the, the Koopa kids, and then he's got Bowser Jr. Yeah, unless you're telling me that Bowser is like the Godzilla from 1998. That's what I think is going on. <laughs> Also, whoever put Bowser Jr. on here, good call. Uh, I also, he has this fake snarling face. You know, he who also was Shadow Mario. Nabbit. Nabbit also has that. Yeah, fuck Nabbit and fuck Bowser Jr. Yeah, Bowser Jr. is the one kid that got to stay, so he thinks he's better than everybody else. His <laughs> voice is also obnoxious. Yeah, and he's like, you ever see those annoying people, who, those nose that are like all the way up on their face? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he also was like, the first time he was introduced, he was Shadow Mario for half the game, and he painted goop all over everything. Yeah, that's really how you're gonna. This is this is uh this is also Bowser Jr. here. That's cool. I don't want to give him credit for that, but that's cool. That. No, it's not cool. He's, he's painting goop. I mean, how bad is painting goop? And under the right context, we all love painting goop. Here he is with his Mario mustache handkerchief with his paintbrush filled with, not paint, goop. And then We're you have to spend mom. a whole game doing community service because this asshole <laughs> that's what Mario Sunshine should really be called Mario Community Service <laughs> did you did you play Mario uh, Sunshine he literally yes, goes to prison and is sentenced to community service <laughs> so uh, you have a probation officer you literally have a probation officer there is a jail <laughs> <laughs> This is a screenshot of the fucking game. <laughs> Mario Sunshine is now my favorite game because of the Mario Super Mario Community Service. <laughs> uh, damn game. Oh, I love it. Anyway, I'm voting <laughs> for Bowser Jr. because the Koopalings get kicked around too much. No, we're on the Junior Trooper. I don't know what oh, I thought we were talking. I thought that was Bowser. Jr. Oh, Bowser Jr. is next. Yeah. Who the hell is Junior Troopa? I don't even know who that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Paper oh. Mario again. That's Paper oh. Mario. I hate oh. him so much. He looks like I think he's, he's on your team. He see that's 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 uh Bowser Jr. This Bowser. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't know, this guy just hatches from an egg, and he's a continuous like threat like he tries to fight mario throughout the game uh and he gets like more power up he just gets like dragon wings for no reason he has a staff he could hit you with he's just so annoying yeah he's like, you ever have that little brother well i guess none of us have little brothers <laughs> but uh i mean you know the little brother archetype who's always like i can beat you i'm better than you and like tries to keep up that's him hey little shit like right from birth too. Fuck him. He's a little turd. Yeah. Oh God. Again. Fuck him. I'm gonna vote for him anyway because you know what? Poop kids get kicked around too much for not existing anymore. Well, they exist. We don't know where they are. They exist. They're. Eight, I'm sure they're over eighteen now, so we don't know what happened to them. But they're, they're the Koopa adults now. <laughs> I didn't like Koopa's theory about them getting sadly lost in the foster care system, so I will spare where them. Where else oh. are they? Where else are they? Like, where else are they? In what games, or just in general? 
just in general, one of them is suffering from alcoholism. The other one, other one lives in a in an alley in a box. I'd like. And to the other one probably doing well and practices law. Yeah, I was gonna say he's a lawyer. He he's he probably looks at his brothers like, do better, guys. But I ain't gonna help you because I'm kind of an ass. <laughs> No, it's probably because he starts crying every time he talks about them. Just like I've been up try, but it's just yeah, you gotta love them from a distance. It's all I can do. Uh, so I'm anyway, going to Junior yeah. also. Yeah, I'm going to Junior Trooper. Um, but now we could talk about Bowser Junior, which I already talked about. Yeah, he fucking sucks. Uh, so I guess Bowser Junior is up against Princess Peach. Yeah, I'm interested to hear why Julian dislikes Princess Peach. Uh, me too. Oh, you guys want to go about Bowser Jr. first, or did we go? I already said my piece on Bowser Jr. What a piece of excrement. (laughs) Okay, see, Princess Peach. Mm -hmm. I don't like her because... (laughs) (laughs) Wait, hold on now. Don't just Uh follow me on this. How come in all the other games she can hold her own but her dumb ass can't keep from getting kidnapped by Bowser. You play Smash Brothers, she whoops the ever-living dog shit out of everybody. She knows how to play tennis. She can obviously golf. She loves to play mini games, and she plays off as this little sweet, little innocent, you know, woe is me, excuse my French, but poor little white girl. And then all of a sudden- Where's the she- French in that? <laughs> Uh, okay but anyways not (laughs) and then she gets she gets kidnapped all the damn time and then on top of that mario has to okay i'm enjoying my day we always see every time we see mario just i'm enjoying my day going about my business not doing anything and then this little hoe decides to get kidnapped again. Now I gotta go out of my seat, stop my plumbing job, tell everybody and have these motherfucking toads come up to me talking about Prince is kidnapped. I'd be like, if I was Mario, I'd be like, let her save herself. I'm done, I'm busy. I'm done. I mean, it is a giant, I mean, Smash Brothers isn't fair because that's uh, non-canonical, Julian. I don't give a damn. What All part right. of that, any of what I said made you think I would slightly give a shit? I don't. All right, here's my rap against Princess Peach. Um, there is a, a game, it's called Super Princess Peach. And in that game, Mario gets kidnapped and Peach has to save him. And it's, you know, it's the opposite, role reversal, you know, kind of game. What do you guys think the battle system is in the Princess Peach game? side scrolling brawler i guess not what type of game but what how does she fight enemies in the princess peach game she kisses them uh, if, with, if, if only it was ass. that no she her ass. well obviously she's a woman and uses her emotions <laughs> now that's awful i agree um so you have four emotions sadness anger happy and i don't know the last one and you have to choose the emotion best for the situation. Also, she's a sexist stereotype. I like her even less. Did uh, did Pixar Studios yoink this for the premise of Inside Out? <laughs> Not, uh, maybe. Also, what, what pisses me off most about this game is it's incredibly expensive now, I'm pretty sure. Pretty and sure. Well, this is for yes. cool and I'm trying to, to figure my- out how much this game is going for now. I will tell you this. If, oh, you like, know what? Maybe- it's not expensive. I'm sorry. Maybe if Peach, like, I guess is talking to Koopa Troopa or something like that. She's getting ready to go up to Koopa Troopa and she'll talk to him. That's cool. Like, how do you feel that you work for Bowser? And he's like, well, we don't really get any pay. And, you know, my wife, she's pregnant and I have to come out here. Mario stomped on me for like the eighth time. I really want to kill that guy, but I can't. (laughs) Yeah, when I say emotions, that's not what I mean. I mean, you get her aggressively angry and she just gets mad and hits things. Or she's real happy. Like, you give her mood swings, essentially. 
That's... What? Yeah, that's the oh. that's the game mechanic. What are they trying? What message were they trying to send people? Uh, a wild. very negative one towards women. That's awful. I like yeah. peach even less. Peach is terrible for our community. That that said, that's one game, and that's not Peach's fault. That's Nintendo's sexist ass fault. Uh, and as far as a character goes, she's bland, vanilla, and boring. But she ain't fucking Bowser Jr., who I am I'm voting for. Princess Peach. Oh, shit. Get <laughs> somebody off. <laughs> Bowser Jr. just thinks he's better than everybody because he's the one kid that Bowser decided to keep. And then Princess Peach, what does she do? What does she do? Did Princess Peach ever get Mario wrongfully imprisoned? Did she ever get him <laughs> almost wrongfully got imprisoned? Him. Imprisoned? Yeah, him. Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Yeah, but she has Mario Stole come out Mario's of identity and imprisoned him and polluted, Jerry. I will Jerry. add. Jerry. Jerry, let me ask you a question. Say you have a friend, right? A friend who you constantly have to tell or give advice to not do something or to stay away from somewhere. <laughs> and then they keep doing the same damn thing. Eventually, you're going to get tired of that friend, right? Yeah. Are you I, talking I, about I yourself and how poor you are at friend. time management? Peach is that friend. Julian, you're just describing yourself with time management. <laughs> You don't give me advice about time management. Yeah, I'm like, hey, be on time. <laughs> you ask me if I have time to do stuff, that's it. But anyway, no, Peach Julie. is, she's toxic. She's toxic. All right, Jarek, let, let me uh, ask you a question. How do you feel about uh, global warming and uh, the environment? It's, it's important, <laughs> right? You, you don't like yeah. pollution. You, you want to clean the environment, not pollute it like Bowser Jr. does. Hey, 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 Andy, how do you feel about identity theft? It's not, that's Can't not cool, man. Right? Yeah, that's not cool. What if you were wrongfully imprisoned for your identity theft? Stop it. <laughs> Peach is stealing my time, though. Time is money. Exactly. Is She's wrongful stealing. imprisonment not stealing time? Hey, you've got, you got five years in prison. That's five years you won't get back. Half a decade. You didn't five years in prison. Okay, you got, you, probation. got you got no. He got community service, a huge time. That's since, probation my during probationary period. You have to do community service. It's a lot court of ordered. Or ordered to do community service. He sounds got like, out that afternoon. Sounds like time wasted to me. But this is I'm talking about years, years. Since 1981 or 1994 or six or whatever that- Mario was. and Peach were just trying to enjoy a vacation and he was wrongfully imprisoned on vacation. First off, you know, right. you know how hard it is to get vacation, vacation days in America. Find out again that Peach is suddenly kidnapped again. Oh, what? What happened? What happened, Toad? What happened? Uh, Peach got kidnapped again, Toad? Oh, did she? Save her damn self. I'm not going out there. I'm always getting, Mario's got scuffed up shoes, constantly has to sh change shirts. I bet you, bet money that Mario got that nice, that those nice threads, like the nice blue overalls with the golden buttons and the nice hat. I bet you they don't show the aftermath of what happens after he saves her ass. All his shit's tattered and torn the fuck up. And he has to re he has to rebuy new shit because of her. Because of her. All right. I'm going to vote for Princess Peach. As well, the well, yeah. uh, also, <laughs> I'm scared that if I didn't vote for Princess Peach, Julian would jump through the computer screen and pummel me. So what you're telling me is uh, you were coerced by uh, somebody you. here who is using I didn't coerce you. I didn't and anger. Did I threaten you, Randy? Did I threaten you? Did I threaten you? No, Spoken. that's the point of the fucking show is to coerce each other. <laughs> I'm seeing it here that you feel threatened and uh, this is uh, against your will. Uh, knock twice if you're in danger. I don't have a gun. He doesn't have a gun. See, he understands what I'm saying, though. He understands. That's why. I right. just don't understand, you know. Let's, so she's vanilla, bland, and stupid. She's not a criminal. She might as well be a criminal. What the, What are you talking about? She might as well be a criminal as much time she's stealing. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. Creators of Nintendo, don't make Mario save Peach. Save somebody else. Just leave her. All right. 
We're gonna move on for a minute. You can recharge your batteries and get uh, ready to fight about Princess Peach in a few minutes. But right now we've got Toad and Wiggler going at it, fight to the death. I like both of them. Uh, <laughs> I've already recharged for this. I ate my sunflower seeds and everything. I'm good. I like Toad. Other than his voice, he's the fantastic Toad. fun guy. Is this shit? I actually hate Toad. I, if, if I were to go worse, a real hard matchup would be <laughs> worse. Princess Peach or Toad. Toad is stupid. He's the fantastic fun guy. How is he working in royalty? He's so damn stupid. Hey, look, it's fine. Andy, I need you to look up real quick. He is doing this pose with his hands. The yeah. same exact thing that wrestler Razor Ramon used to do. So Google Razor Ramon entrance. And it should be on the images. There's a screenshot from a YouTube video. He's doing the same exact fucking thing. I don't understand. He's is, dumb. It makes it, it worse. Is it this? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. I mean, Toad, look. Not Razor. Uh, I have uh, I have no problem with Toad, and I have no problem with Wiggler. So convince me why I should hate either one of these. Wiggler's cool. He's just, you know. Wiggler is cool because, like, he doesn't do nothing to nobody. It's just when you piss him off. See, he's the type of dude that doesn't take shit from nobody. He's like, leave me alone to sleep. Leave me alone to walk around and trudge around and get my exercise because obviously I'm a little thicker than the more normal Mario game character. And then if you mess with him, he's like, no, nah, we're not having that. And then he'll charge your ass. I like that. I like it. He's, also, he's also kind of razor ramoning in a cart here. <laughs> yeah, then look how cool that is. Though. Is everybody doing that? <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, literally T posing in the cart in every picture I found here. It's literally just a T pose in the cart the whole time. What is he supposed to do? That's actually, wow, he's got like Goro from Mortal Kombat. I gotta say though, I like Wiggler, and I find it hilarious that Wiggler is driving a Wiggler car. It's Tell weird. me that isn't the coolest thing ever. I can't tell if his car is like sticking out a brown tongue or if that's his nose. I mean, you could take him one look at him and tell it's his nose. <laughs> yeah, look at his, look at the car though. Look at his car, the head of the car. Yeah, it's clearly his nose. <laughs> to me, it looks like it's like. I don't know. Like Look at the person sitting up. in the cart! <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I'm talking, Wiggler looks like that's his actual nose, but the car looks it's weird. The car is weird. The car is weird looking. You know what? I've made up my mind. I'm voting for Toad. Yeah, Toad's stupid. No, it, uh, mm. I don't like the Wiggler Why? flies off the handle. I'm, I'm voting for Wiggler. I don't care if he doesn't move on. But Look, I, 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 you know, I get he's a, he's a little over emotional. But I, I, if, so, if someone jumped emotional. on my head, I'd probably be pissed off too. I'd probably exactly. handle it better than running around in a circle and huffing and puffing like a bitch, but. He's not huffing and puffing like a bitch. He's just walking around minding his own business. Imagine you minding your own business and someone hits you on the head. Of course you're gonna charge him. He doesn't charge him. He runs in a circle like, hey, hey, hey. Well, he runs, sometimes it's an ape. Sometimes he does it in a Mobius strip. It depends on how he's feeling that day. Yeah, he's just running and pouting like an angry child. But you know what? He got hit in the head. It is what it is. What does Toad do? Mario, Mario! He's the fantastic fun guy. Not fun. All right, y'all. And I just got done playing Mario. I just got done playing Luigi's Mansion 3, and Toad pissed me off because I saved him, and then he lost something, and then I had to save him <laughs> again. It's like, why? <laughs> okay. All right, next up, we've got the Koopalings finally. We can talk about them against Whizpig. I hate the Koopalings. I found this one where people like put clothes on them. I'm trying to find a better image. That's a good enough image for me. That's uh, gross. The Koopalings suck. They remind me all of Donald Trump's children. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is unfortunately Ludwig von Koopa? Ludwig von Koopa. That's his name. I mean, this one's named after Beethoven. Uh, Iggy is named after... Uh, Pop, right? Yeah, Iggy Pop. Lemmy is uh, the the singer from... Uh, uh, Motorhead? Motorhead, yes. That's who they're, those three are named after. 
forgot who the other ones were named after, but they're all named after someone. Stupid. Uh, they also, they all suck. They all yeah, they do. fucking suck. They do suck. Ludwig von Koopa makes me want to vomit. That fucking name. Wendy makes me want to vomit. I can't tell if her lips are a donut or a very puckered <laughs> bubble. Again, sexualizing an animal. <laughs> it's in a ba- it's supposed to be a baby too. Yeah, that's fucked, man. Fuck the Koopalings. Yeah, that's pretty bad. What about oh. Wind Pig? <laughs> ah, the main antagonist of Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> <laughs> Look. We, we talked about how ugly Baby Wario was, but I don't know if it beats this. <laughs> oh, oh God. His belt is pre-cracked. <laughs> <laughs> also, here's just a screenshot from the fucking game. Oh, oh God. <laughs> just hunting down the character. Wait, go back to the other picture? <laughs> he looks like oh a dude. Demon. He looks like that one dude from Ghostbusters 2. I mean, you tell me that these two, this can't be his older brother, the cyber demon from Doom. <laughs> his younger brother, his young, younger, less <laughs> successful. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Uh, he looks disgusting. Wiz, Wiz Pig is just, oh God, somebody drew a picture of him in like a Saturday morning cartoon and it's the worst thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like the artistry for this. It's just demonic. Also, what kind of a narcissistic bastard carves his own face into a mountain? Americans? It's oddly... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was good. Also, here's here's Pipsy again. You have oh, I like the genie. Racism at its best. Ah, you mean Raj the genie? Raj the elephant genie. I had Raj on the list. No one added Raj. <laughs> yeah, I should have for, for racism. Yeah, but <laughs> it would have gone far. Lord. Uh, so yeah, that's Whizpig. <laughs> How y'all feeling about Whizpig or the Koopalings? Ganon's less successful brother. It Whiz is Pig. Ganon's less successful. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Why is he rocketing to the moon? <laughs> sure that's a rocket? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. Wait, what, what app is this? I don't know. It, it says <laughs> Tumblr. I just did a... I do um, Google Images and... Exp- uh, open a new tab. I'm voting for uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> some some awful thing is going to lose in round one here. I'm gonna go with Whizpig because I can't stand looking at it. I can't. I, I can't. Um, still also not a fan of sexualizing uh, babies and children. I will vote for the Koopalings and we'll let Andy decide. Actually, can I change my vote? Fuck that. You don't got to vote. I'm voting for I was going to vote for the Koopalings anyway. Ludwig von Koopa is all I needed to hear. All right. Finally, at round number two. So we've got a lot of what we already talked about, but still a handful of new entries, including Lord Crump. We'll be up against Baby Wario. Here's Lord Crump. And yep. Yep. Julian that's a job, Paper sure. Mario, Thousand Year Door. And I'm... <laughs> Does he crump? Not what you think of. No crumping, uh, but he. What do you think of when you think of Lord Crump? I I think of this sadly. I completely forgot his his role in the game, other than he's a he's a villain. I think he's one of the main villains of the game, and he sucks. He's, he's a kind like, of a stalker as well. He's a ripoff of Doctor Robotnik. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Call a spade a spade and say that's just Dr. Robotnik. That. And his SM costume. <laughs> the only reason I added him as one of my 10 is because I thought that he would crump in a very corny, groan inducing way. 
and no. evidently he doesn't, which no. makes it worse. So I'm he, gonna vote for him. He actually came out before crumping. This is from, from like a 20 year old game. Well, too bad. I didn't know that. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Crumping was around before then. Was it? it made, yeah, it was made popular later on. Oh, but crumping well. was. Oh, no. Hey, uh, it shows what I know about crumping, but here's uh, Donald Trump is Lord Crump. <laughs> Lord Trump. <laughs> um, I'm going to vote for Baby Wario. What a fucking disaster. Jack, you said Lord Crump? I have to. I am also demon. voting for Lord Crump. Yes. Over, over the demon, otherwise known as Baby Wario? <laughs> baby Cannibal? Yeah. Little Baby Canny. Uh, all right, next up, Starlo is back. Um, very useless Starlo against Klepto, who is too dumb to run away from you. I got to vote for Starlo. I'm just going to throw it out there now. You can discuss further, but an, any Navi character is going to get my vote every fucking time. That's fine. I think Klepto is just too stupid to, to not move on. But I'm voting for Klepto. I'm also voting for Klepto because... Uh, Starlo is useless. She's so useless that I don't even want to vote. That should be the reason. What? <laughs> the That's ass useless. backwards not logic. It's not, because she's not going to go move forward. She's just useless. You just forget about her. Mm. All right. Somebody here needs to pay some, play some Mario and Luigi games. I <laughs> hate <know>. Shit. <laughs> Actually, the Mario and Luigi <laughs> games are fantastic. Well, I'm sure. I just like I enjoy playing Smash Brothers right now because I got the DLC finally. Ah, have you played as Sora? Hell yeah, and I actually like playing as Sora. <laughs> Perhaps we could have added Sora to this list. Well, nah, that's a, we could probably go with like worst Kingdom Hearts characters. I don't know any of them. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> Goofy Dude. dies and and then he comes back. That's what I know. Hashtag spoilers. One, two, three, four, probably five, six in there somewhere. I, there's a lot of Xehanorts. There's 13, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's the 13, the nobodies. I thought they were all just Xehanorts. No, there's different Xehanorts from different... Look, I don't want to go into it. Let's just... <laughs> Look at Jared, like, I hate that name. I hate that character. This is one of the many lores that I don't give two fucks about. <laughs> um, died. Next Wait, up, we've got... Really uh, Pipsy is back, and the rabid versions... Oh, God. I had forgotten about the rabid versions for the last half an hour. I wish I could forget about the rabbits. The fucking rabbits. Trying to find more pictures of rabbits for you. I don't want to see any more pictures of rabbits. We're good. Pipsy has no personality whatsoever. To me, rabbits have too much personality. I would rather have too much than literally nothing. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you want more of this? Yes. That's enough of that. Pipsy shows me zero. That's no. plenty. No. If Pipsy no. looked at that, we'd move Pipsy on. But the world, me. the world needs to hate the rabbits more and more. Okay, so I'm voting rabbits. Yeah. I don't need no pictures of them. Okay, I'm voting rabbits. Yeah, me too. Okay, thank God. Yeah, same thing. I feel with Starlo, like useless. Get, get, get Pipsy out of here. The rabbits. Oh, the rabbits are demons. <laughs> computer is confused. He wanted to vote Pipsy. No oh, computer. Right, no. Thank goodness the rabbits are away. But we're back to checking out Candy Kong's Bazonkers uh, against <laughs> Nabbit. Bazonkers or Nabbit? Which one? God, I hate them both so much. You know what, though? Candy Kong has one positive. She allows you to save your game in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, see, that's not bad. I'm voting Nabbit. Yeah, I'm voting Nabbit. It's a thief. Yeah, thief with a stupid mask. You know what we are? Some sort of Nabbit. <laughs> also, what a dumb name, Nabbit, because he's nabbing your your coins. And he's a shit. I think that's that's almost as bad as fucking Klepto as a name. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, all right, next up, uh, Tubba Dubba is back from, from Paper Mario, the sexual predator who eats booze. Um, I guess Pack E Derm. Oh, God! Wait till you see this. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Is that the bottom half of a toad? I don't know what that is. It's like, I, I can't the, tell you what that is. Is the only purpose of this character to hold up a stop sign and prevent you from crossing until you ground pound in front of it? Yes. What game is this from? Yoshi Story. Oh. Bro. <laughs> this is all it does. It just holds a sign like, go, go there. Try to go the other way, stops you there too. Here's a version of Master Shake, is it? <laughs> oh god, it's got a spirit in Smash Brothers, and DVD is its movie become. Oh dear. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is uh terrifying. I forgot this thing even existed. Like um, a Christmas tree light tail. Like, I'm just gonna vote for Pecky Durham. Over this uh, predator. Look, I don't like. It's Double let's bubble. be let's call it what it is. It's not a sexual predator. It's eating the food. Not from what I saw. Yeah, you but you play the game. Oh dear! Look at this photo. Look at this photo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hiding in the bushes. <laughs> That's very predator like. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still voting um, for Tubba Bubba. Bubba right now. I mean, I mean oh, there that Peggy Derm will sure. haunt my fucking nightmare. Yeah. 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 Alright, next is Nine Volt. Little Nine Volt is back uh, against the Junior Troopa. Again, another battle of like weird children. Fuck Junior Troopa. Fuck Junior Troopa, that learns to fucking fly with its dragon wings. Yeah. I don't, I mean, we only played uh, the Wario War game for like 15 minutes before I almost threw up in my mouth. <laughs> I still think Junior Troopa is worse. I'll have you know that I beat that game now. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and vote 9 volt because I feel like 9 volt is just gonna make fun of me for this game. I'm gonna vote for Junior Troopa because he literally does make fun of you for existing in the game. Uh, poor Junior Troopa. Oh, I'm voting for Junior Troopa too, if I didn't say that earlier. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Princess Peach is back against our final new character, King Wart. Talk about a character that was the main antagonist of one game and then just irrelevant. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Big fucking idiot. <laughs> also, his name is sucks. Wart. Didn't he also kidnap Princess Peach? No, you played as Princess Peach in this game. Oh, you play as Princess Peach in this game. Yeah. Princess Peach beats him. What's that say about him? I still don't like Peach. I'm still voting Peach. I'm, I'm voting for King Wart. The, you, I mean, you voted for people for being irrelevantly dumb. He's I think I'm gonna... really, he's irrelevant, so I'm not gonna vote for him. I, just, I, I'm gonna let my dislike for Peach. He also is just a I gelatinous did. blob of disgusting filth. Tell us and how you really you... feel, Andy. I did, yeah. just there. You dislike him more than you dislike Peach? Come on now. I don't dislike Peach, other than her incredibly sexist game that is no fault of her own that's the creators of nintendo um i'm still gonna vote for princess peach i think we can move around Ooh. another round see what happens uh and she'll be going up either against toad or the koopalings and this is a no oh. contest no the koopalings Lud von, oh. ludwig von koopa toad is stupid so is Ludwig von Koopa. They actually do stuff. No, Toad they... does nothing except for cry. Have you ever? First off, Toad is one of the best characters in Mario Kart. 
fast and good acceleration. And annoying. Hey, you know, he's the fantastic fun guy. <laughs> um, I, sorry, I got to vote for the Kooplings, Julian. There are just two, there's too many of them, and each one is worse than the last. One is named toad. after no, Lemmy. Toad, by the toad, yeah. We want to talk about one toad. What comes with a variation of ages, sexes, and colors? Oh, yeah. But we're not talking about Toadette, and we're not talking about Toad's worth. We're talking about Toad. Not the race, the, the character Toad of toad. the Toad race. Toad sucks. Hold on. Pull up. Uh, the toad. only one that's the damn is Toad's worth. Here's uh, here's Biker Toad, and he calls himself the Fantastic Fun Guy, and that's why I kept saying that. <laughs> but since he's already, he's already uh, the loser of last round. I'll show this now. That's pretty great. Fantastic Fun Guy Toad. <laughs> I don't want to come across him in a forest. Um, <laughs> All right, round of the Elite Eight. First off, Lord Crump against Klepto. Both of them don't do what they should do. Both of them kind of suck. I'll vote yeah, for Klepto. I don't like thieves. Yeah, I'm going to vote for Dr. Robotnik. Oh, I'm still on the Klepto train. <laughs> choo choo, here comes the Klepto train. I am. Um, all right, Klepto moving on. Next up, the rabbit versions of everything uh, against Nabbit. We got rabbit versus Nabbit. That this sounds like something somebody from Yeehaw Junction would say. Oh, rabbit, Nabbit. <laughs> oh, Nabbit, rabbit. Uh, I believe there's a rabbit Donkey Kong you guys need to see. Uh, you don't need to. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case on the direction I'm going. Rabbits, please. Looks <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like a WWE person. You've convinced me, Andy. Not that I need <laughs> it. looks like it's wearing Borat uh, suit. <laughs> right? I'm voting for rabbits just off of that. That's if anything deserves to buy it, want to it's the again. rabbits. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Nabbit. If the rabbit. <sighs> The rabbits can't bunger because someone voted for the top hat host, Julian. <laughs> All right, I told uh, I told you, top hat looks like a coon. I don't want to see blackface. Fuck out of here. Fair enough, but I think it's just casted in shadow. Uh, uh -huh. Bottom half, That's what they call it. Mister <laughs> uh, Mister Licky, Tubba Bubba, against the Junior Trooper. Tubba Bubba, because he's a sex offender. We're coming up with lore. He just needs booze. Play the game. There are some serial killers who sexually assaulted their victims beforehand. But he didn't kill them because when you beat them, all the booze are freed. Also, the booze are already dead. They're already dead. <laughs> I'm voting for Junior Trupo. What an annoyance. It doesn't make it better to sexually assault the dead, Andy. He's not sexually. <laughs> He's opening his mouth bigger. That's why the tongue was out. He doesn't lick them. You have to open your mouth bigger. In fact, the booze no, like people. The boo was on its tongue. If I went, I'm not going to say what I was going to say right there. Uh, tub of bubble. <laughs> it just looks like violation. That's it's, all I'm saying. I know it, that look. It's just because they're made of paper. He's holding it above the tongue. Paper. Sure. All right. <laughs> Prince of Peach it. against the Koopalings. I'm going to keep voting against Peach. Peach. It's, it's, no, it's Koopalings. Peach Ludwig von Koopa. Andy, can you Peach is useless. Of the Koopa link again. Yes. Don't do it. Don't six of them. Please, please, please give no, this I, to me. Please. please I don't know, Julian. This. I've been leaning Koopa links uh, over Peach. What do I have to do to convince you? Fifty dollars. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not. Give me fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dumbass motherfucker back here, by the way. Okay, but think, think. What kind of message does it send to children, young girls, your potential daughter? Not having kids. <laughs> but I, I understand. I, but 
it seems again like so much of these decisions aren't actually Peach's decisions. And these people make the decision every day to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> also made the decision. This guy painted really? a star on his eye. That's supposed Morton. to be kids, though, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Fucking Morton over here. Like a big dumb fucking oaf. Peach. Is <laughs> okay. You're. Again, on vacation, enjoying time at home with your brother, enjoying a nice game of backgammon. And then this annoying little toad freak comes up. Mario, Mario! I hate to interrupt your nice vacation. I see you got a good game of backgammon going. You have to stop and cut your vacation short because Princess Peach got kidnapped again, so you have to risk your life to save her again. On top of that, the only thing you get out of it is a kiss on the cheek and a cake that you didn't ask for. Hey, look at this big fat motherfucker. He's having trouble breathing, just standing there. He's leaning he on like over. He has aspirations to be a rock star with his brother Morton over there. What are the uh, like wands? Those are wands or scepters yeah. that they all have? Uh, they supposedly yeah. do magic, but I mean, if you just touch them three times, they die. I mean, they're so incredibly weak and useless. Well, they're children. If you like anything, you just jump. I told you, every character or every villain or bad guy, you just jump on them, and then that seems to be their Achilles heel. Also, yeah. look at this motherfucking motherfucker JoJo posing. <laughs> <laughs> Love JoJo. He's literally, I mean... I think one of the fucking characters poses exactly like that. You yeah. love Jojo. For me, not a single one of these jabronis. Anything. Oh. <laughs> Is he wearing Tim's? Wait, go back. He was wearing a pair of Tim's. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think somebody just put Where that in. Where did Tim's come from? I think somebody just did that. <laughs> I'm just looking at the posing going on here. <laughs> All three look like JoJo characters, but the uh, teams are killing Hold away. on. You know who Ooh. else? Oh, come on. Peach. Sorry. You know who else does uh, the same fucking pose as JoJo and one of the Koopalings? Fucking John Cena. <laughs> and see me, motherfucker. I'm sorry, Koopling has got to go. Got to go on. And rightfully uh, fucking so. Peach. Good run for Peach, but... Um, all right, top half. Klepto against the rabbits. You will not convince me that the worst thing on this list isn't the rabbits. That's the rabbits are yeah. ugly. The picture was funny as hell, so I'm voting Klepto. Sorry, I still gotta vote for the rabbits. It's the worst fucking thing on this planet. <laughs> the rabid Luigi also looked like John Cena a little bit. <laughs> uh, all right, bottom half, Tubba Bubba, uh, or those Koopalings. I can't stand those fucking Koopalings. Sexual assault or a bunch of mistakes, your choice. <laughs> so one it's... mistake or many mistakes? Here's the thing, here's the thing. We are making up the lore. I told you he's just eating them. <laughs> just let it go, Andy. Just, <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why. We saw what we saw. We know what we know. <laughs> Chill out. I'm and just what mad we... Hold on. I'm voting for Tub of Bubba. Same. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so that means our final is going to have Tub of Bubba in it against the Rabbids. <sighs> You know where I stand. Right. I said it already. The worst thing on this list are the rabbits. The worst. Also, have you heard them speak? They speak like minions. They scream the entire game. <laughs> Non-stop. No words. Just screaming. Okay. No words, just screaming. How did, what, does Tubba Bubba speak? Yeah, he speaks no. in full sentences. No, he it, just basically says, nah, we're done talking. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got to go with the rabbits as well. Oh, boo. 
The rabbits are the first thing on this list that should have bungered. The, the first thing in a long time that deserved to bunger. I'm voting Tubba Bubba. Nasty freak. <laughs> All right. Why do so, I have a Mario ad up here? There's well, Mario. That's dope. Good thing. You're listening to us. So we determined that the very worst Super Mario and spin-off character is indeed a spin-off character. It's the rabid variations of all of the main Mario characters <laughs> and their disgustingness. Uh, second place was Tubba Bubla, disgusting in his own right. And then a tie for third between Klepto and the Koopalings, which sounds like, um, I'm going to say a 1960s soul band. Klepto, Klepto and, and the, the Koopalings. Koopalings. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anything from you guys before we wrap this one up? This is a mistake. Yeah, the <laughs> rabbit. The rabbits were a mistake. I agree. <laughs> All of these characters were a mistake. Yeah, I don't. Other than like a couple of them, I was happy to see that we didn't just pick like you know Mario or Luigi or Wario. I'm glad we got into some of this nasty lore. It is. I don't. I. I don't like Peach. I think she should have been. I think she should be kicked out of the whole franchise. Yes, just boot, okay. boot that bitch out. Her out. There's so many different, different oh like her Daisy's. Oh, I like Daisy. I like Paulina. I definitely like. Rosalina. I even like Rosalina. Rosalina's a god. Yeah. But Peach, mm -mm. get her out of there. You know, risk your life, get killed by all this, to get lit, like blown on fire, and all she gives you is a cake. The fuck out of here, man. Someone here doesn't like cake, and you're missing out on a very tasty treat. So if somebody almost kills you and say, oh, thanks for, I made you a cake. How is you see it? y'all talking to these emotions, <laughs> talking to all these Koopa characters and stuff about their emotions. You want to talk to me about my trauma for saving your life? Get the fuck out of here. I like all cake. Right. Oh. Um, obviously, since they're listening to us record this podcast, Julian, they might be listening to you. And uh, <laughs> I hope they are. I don't <laughs> like. I don't like. I don't play Peach at all. At all. Right. I'm gonna make you play Peach. Peach. What? In what? Oh, a game. <laughs> the new Mario Party. She's not getting played. Mm -hmm. All right. We get to know Julian's stance. But uh, I think we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. This was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for taking me again on a journey into some shit that I didn't know about. Always <laughs> a good time. Um, so for Andy Mysuck, Mr. Basketball himself, for Candy Kong's number one fan, Julian Griffin, I am Handy Dandy Andy Jarek. We'll talk to y'all next week on Bracket.